Yo, what's up, my brothers? Welcome uh, to another audio. Uh, another note in my journal. Um, I was told uh, in my last video that uh, people would like to know um, what my suggestion is uh, on the best way of life. And uh, one brother asked me that, and I thought that was a very precious question because um, I don't believe you are right by telling other people they are wrong. I believe you were right by providing your answers as to why. So, um, anyway, so basically, bro, this guy who I mentioned in my last video, I am fulfilling his, um, his question and his, um, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's wanted to know, um, what I thought was the best way. So, look, bro, everyone's gonna have their own idea on what is best, um, but that doesn't mean we can't get along. Uh, you might disagree with me, but we don't have to agree on anything to get along. Just remember that quote. We don't have to agree on anything to get along. Anyway, guys, so, um, as you can see here on the screen, uh, I typed in Google, the top tens.com. You can go and look at the website yourself. And I typed up the top greatest men. Okay, so primarily this is for men. Uh, a couple of sisters might come across this, uh, but this is for men. And the reason we say brothers and sisters is because we this idea that we are all one is very true. Uh, we are all one in the sight of God, brother and sister. Um, and, uh, you know, that's why I refer to you as my brother, because we are brothers in the sight of God. And um, it's just a metaphor, and I think it's a really nice way to communicate to any guy who comes to my channel, whether you're Muslim, Christian, atheist, you unsure, you're 50-50, uh, you Buddhist or whatever, bro. Well, as long as you're coming here to seek to, to seek something good, and you come to my channel to seek something good and something positive, dude, that is awesome. That's all I can ask, really, bro. Uh, if you're coming here to hate, then I might ask you to leave because I don't want any hate on my channel. And if you do express a hate comment, uh, not only will I make a video about it, uh, I'll probably remove it. So please, brothers, I'm trying to keep this a friendly and clean environment. Um, if, if you can respect that, that would be awesome. And uh, another thing as well, bro, whether you're African, uh, Australian, uh, I don't know, Asian, Jewish, whatever, bro. Whatever walk of life you're from, you're more than welcome to seek something good and to join me in this video. It kind of makes it easier that way, so we're not all chopped and divided just because we disagree. Anyway, well, as you can see, the rainbow was one, but it's different colors. So anyway... Uh, so guys, my suggestion is, and in my belief, of course I am a Muslim, uh, for those of you who didn't know, I follow the Islamic belief, and I've chosen to follow the Islamic belief, and as you can see here, bro, there's a man on the screen who comes up as number one on the top ten greatest men. Uh, his name is Muhammad, and uh, when we refer to Muhammad, we say, peace be upon him, out of respect. Um, also, when we say this guy's name, Who's the second man? Uh, there he is. Jesus, peace be upon him. So there's Jesus there, the second greatest man on the top ten. And uh, we say peace be upon him out of respect as well. So we're going to go to the first man here now. And uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna uh, create a series around this guy, uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And uh, hopefully you guys can uh, gain whatever you can, bro. You take it or you won't take it. It's absolutely fine. You know, I'm not here to convince anyone of anything. Um, as we learn in our religion, we are here to remind, not to uh, dictate. And uh, uh, basically, bro, um, I'm just going to discuss with you a little bit of why I went with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, why not any other man? Look, bro, I'll be straight up with you. You know, I didn't really have a strong father for the growing up. I uh, really didn't have an older brother. Uh, he passed away when I was 10. Uh, God bless him. Uh, and God bless anyone who has lost someone. Um, but basically, bro, I never really had that role model in my life. You know, I, I looked up to rappers, I looked up to sports stars, and, um, you know, nothing really fit the deal. You know, all these men were just known for something they were good at. And, um, it just wasn't the best way for me. You know, Eminem isn't the best role model, Michael Jordan isn't the best role model, but they each have something you can take away from them. But, but a role model of such would be this man. So this man is our role model uh, in Islam. This is the man we tr we look up to to uh, um, 
mold our life around, mold our character around, because he is the we we believe because the Quran taught us that he is the best of mankind. Uh, in the Quran, uh, they described Muhammad peace be upon him as the best of mankind and an example for mankind. So if we follow his example, then that is a success in God's eye. Anyway, bro. So why this man? Well, number one, bro. He is the at uh, the top ten greatest man in the world. He came up as number one. So uh, if he is the greatest man in the world, should we not want to follow his ways? And as uh, you can see here, uh, from uh, 570 AD to 630 AD, he was a Arabian prophet, and uh, he was the last prophet of all the prophets. So whether or not you believe in God, bro, I'll just give you a little bit of a quick backstory. You probably heard this a hundred times, but uh, you know, there's Noah, uh, Isaac, and Joseph, and um, you know Abraham, and Jesus, peace be upon them as well, and peace be upon them all. So he was the last. Uh, of those prophets. He was the seal of the prophethood. And uh, it says here he was an important historical figure in the world. And uh, here we have a, a a bloke called Michael Hay, Michael H. Hart's, uh, Hart. So he wrote a book called The 100. And uh, this is what he said about him. Um, he said many great things in his life. He always thought of others. He loved and died poor. He didn't seek revenge. The sad thing is that people always try to ruin his greatness by saying lies about him and they try to destroy his view. But they f always fail because people who read about his life will know why did he deserve to be the number one upon all humans. Uh, God's the greatest, okay? So he is the number one upon all humans. N a Muslim didn't say this. Uh, Michael H., I don't think he's a Muslim. No, he's not. And he said this himself. So I'm not just coming from an Islamic perspective. I'm not being biased. A non-Muslim is saying this, okay? So that's why I've gone with Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him as the role model and as to follow what is best in this world. And uh, I'm going to make a whole series on him. Uh, I have a book that I have at home and it's called The the Life of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. And uh, this is the man who I try to follow because he is the greatest man of, of all mankind uh, from among us. And uh, he was a perfect example. So if we can come close to a perfect example, because we can never be perfect with humans. God already knows that. He just wants you to try to implement the areas which you can. And, you know, God will love, God just loves it when you try. He doesn't want anything more from you, but you to try. He just wants you to try your best. That's all he wants. He doesn't want you to be exactly like this man, because we can't, but we can come close to it. Uh, some people like uh, Michael Jordan, right? Uh, Kobe Bryant and LeBron James, uh, they are nowhere near Michael Jordan, in my opinion. Uh, some may differ, but that's not about, that's the different topic, but they are both brilliant basketball players. Uh, so that's what uh, God's kind of saying. I'm not referring Michael Jordan to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I'm just saying, it's just an example. So anyway, guys, join me in my next video as we go through the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Areas we can implement to our life, what he taught, the things he taught us, and how to go our way around this life. And if it's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments, bro, whether you're Muslim or non-Muslim. And uh, a beautiful thing as well, if we go here to the second greatest man of all time, Jesus Christ, peace and blessings be upon him. Um, so here it says, um, do, 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 uh, uh, wait a second, there was an area here. That uh, that stated. Okay, I can't find it. Yes, he is the best man in the world. Like him, no one can become, and no one, and no one come. Oh no, he's, that guy's just saying no one can come. Okay, um, wait a second. There was an area here that discussed Jesus, peace be upon him. Uh. Jesus, peace be upon him, talking about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, but it's not coming here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw something, bro. I think I missed it. Okay, I missed. I must have misread something. But anyway, bro, uh, we believe as Muslims that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a prophet of God, a messenger of God. And uh, in the Bible... Uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, is referred to as the Son of God. And the Son of God was a metaphorical term given to someone who was close to God. Uh, it, it says that in the Bible. And you can see down here, whoever this person is, 
uh, doesn't I don't think this person understood it very well. Uh, this person says he was both man and God. According to the Bible, he's God alone. So that, that doesn't make any sense. Because if he is God alone, then uh, who was the God he was praying to? Who is the Father? If he is God alone, then who's the Father? Uh, you know what I mean? Um, this is why we believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, was a prophet. Because he said himself, I came here to fulfill the laws of the other prophets. To worship one true God. And, um... Mm, here. Okay? This is, this is why we believe he was a prophet and not a god. Jesus is 100% God and 100% man, so he can easily qualify for the poll. Alright, so first of all, uh, if you're a god, 100%, then you cannot be man, 100%. Uh, it just doesn't work like that, because God's nature cannot change. Uh, god cannot be two things at once. God cannot be his creation. In the Bible, it says God's nature doesn't change. And uh, you can see here, if, if, if he's a man, 100% man... If he's a hundred, it says here that he's a hundred percent man. You can see that, right? Uh, okay, so he was a hundred percent man. I'm a hundred percent man. If you're listening to this, you're a hundred percent man. Now, how can me and you be a hundred percent God? We just can't be. If Jesus was a hundred percent man like us, how could he be a hundred percent God at the same time? You just can't. If he was, a, if he was a hundred percent God, he would have been a hundred percent like God, and he wasn't. He was hungry, he got hurt, he cried out to God, he, uh, on the cross, you know, he was calling out to God, why did you forsake me? Um, he wasn't all-knowing, uh, basically, he does, he wasn't 100% God, and, uh, he never claimed divinity, and, uh, he never claimed out of his own lips, I am God. Uh, a Lord is different to a God. Only God gets the title God, but the Lord is a title that people can attain. You know, Lord is a title that people get who have a, a immense leadership, immense respect, but only God can get the uh, title God. And n never once did Jesus, Jesus say that. And you can see here, it's saying he's 100% man and 100% God. And so that doesn't really make sense. As you can see, bro. Uh, otherwise, bro, us Muslims, we love Jesus uh, as much as all the other prophets, peace be upon him. He simply was sent by the Father to deliver a message. And the Father was Allah, was the one true God, the God that He said to worship. Because Jesus had a God, bro. This is what I want Christians to understand. Look, if you're not going to listen to me agree with me, it's perfectly fine, bro. But Jesus had a God, bro. Jesus had a God. And the same God that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had. They both had the same God. And uh, that, that that's what uh, Christianity, you know, it goes a bit wrong there because... People suddenly believe Jesus was God himself uh, because he had a lot of things like he had he had different abilities, even though he said the power comes from my father and uh, he didn't he wasn't born with a father. but in the Quran, uh, God explains how he was born. Uh, God says all you have to say is be and it is. So that's how Jesus peace be upon him was born. Uh, Jesus peace be upon him isn't an actual son of God. Uh, in, in, in Islam, we call this blasphemy because you're claiming that God begot a son. And uh, you can just think about that, how treacherous that is to even think about that. Jesus, peace be upon him, was a metaphorical son of God, which is someone who's very close to God. And you know who else was a son of God? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So that's why we're going to go with him because he's the number one on the list. Uh, like I said before, bro, join me as we go through the series. God bless and I'll see you guys in the next